The T helper cell and the T suppressor cell in this scene are working together in a process of self, non-self recognition. The T suppressor cell then directs a T cytotoxic cell to call off its attack on tissues which have been certified as belonging in the self category. T helper cells coordinate the immune attack. It's important that everyone play a proper role as the immune attack takes place. The two T helper cells shown here are running the game plan. The T cytotoxic cell is responsible for eliminating virus infected cells which have been previously identified by the T helper cell. The T suppressor cell stands by to ensure that normal healthy cells are not damaged. Here, the T cytotoxic cell is directed to use a boom box representing a complement protein to attack a front row spectator representing a virus infected cell. When the initial attack fails, a second T helper cell picks up the attack using a new approach to ensure success. The immune system is now back in sync and participating in a coordinated attack. The T helper cell shown here is using cytokines represented by the phone to direct an immune response. A second T helper cell is shown at left phagocytosing the fragments of an invader which have been left behind by the antigen presenting cell. Here the T helper cell, again using cytokines to coordinate the other cell types, enlists the aid of a T cytotoxic cell and a T suppressor cell to ensure an effective immune response. In this scene, a T helper cell happens upon a T cytotoxic cell sampling the MHC type of a potential invader. The T cytotoxic cell, aided by the T helper cell, determines that the potential invader is indeed a virus infected cell and responds appropriately. The T cytotoxic cell that surveys the population of cells seen here looking for any cells which show surface markers indicative of a viral infection. Having found her target, she strikes, destroying the altered cell and thereby preventing further viral infection. T natural killer cells find cells that do not match their MHC type. If such cells are found, the natural killer cell convinces the invader to commit suicide through activation of an apoptotic signal. All immune cells carry surface markers called human leukocyte antigens or major histocompatibility complex antigens which help to identify them as a normal part of the organism. It is important, especially in transplantation, to assure the best possible MHC match to avoid organ rejection. Immune cells must employ constant surveillance by binding to potentially damaged or damaging cells and ensuring that they are a good MHC match. If they are, then they are accepted as self. The antigen presenting cell has captured a complex antigenic glycoprotein from an invading cell. The antigen presenting cell then shares the foreign protein with a T helper cell. The T helper cell working with the antigen presenting cell confirms that the foreign molecule is not of the proper MHC class and is therefore targeted for destruction. The antigen presenting cell is unique because it carries three important proteins, MHC class 1 molecules, MHC class 2 molecules, and a surface marker which activates the T helper. The T helper then breaks the foreign protein into fragments, each representing an epitope, and distributes them among the immune cells, which each have the correct individual specificity for that epitope. Note that a T cytotoxic cell and a T helper cell, as well as a number of B cells, are recruited to help in the immune response. Bacterial invaders are marked through the process of opsonization. The complement protein C3B in antibodies, which are shown here, are used to label bacterial cells which will be phagocytosed and destroyed. 